Hey, it's Q64, and welcome to another Portal Glitch video. I thought I'd do some commentary over this one so I can explain what's going on to anyone who might be confused. What I'm about to show you is a weird glitch that I just kind of discovered randomly. To do the glitch, you need a short space to crouch in with a portalable ceiling. The tops of these level signs are just the perfect height, but this can actually be done in a lot of different places. Start by placing a portal on the ceiling directly above the place that you want to stand on. Make sure the edge of the portal is touching the wall. Then, place the other portal on the floor somewhere and slowly walk forward while crouched until you fall through so that you are standing on top of the sign. Let go of crouch an inch away from the wall a tiny bit at a time until your head pops out the other portal. From here, simply shoot the portal that was on the floor onto any surface and your camera will follow. Not only does this look pretty silly, but it can be used to complete this level rather easily. Now, the reason this works is because the game camera and the physical location of your body in the game world are not technically connected, even though your camera follows your body around. This has been demonstrated before with other glitches such as the save glitch, which effectively frees your camera from your body completely. This glitch does the same thing. By poking just the tip of your head out of a floor portal, you can re-portal without worrying about being bumped to one side or the other, since your physical location actually stays the same. What this means is that even though you can see out the orange portal, the game thinks you're still standing on top of the sign. Consequently, you won't actually activate any triggers because you're technically somewhere else. An interesting application of this glitch occurs in Chamber 19. Because of the way the level is designed, you can use this trick to get through the entire chamber, right up to where you start poking around in the facility. The only difference between doing the glitch here and back in Chamber 12 is that you need to make sure the bottom of the blue portal is touching the wall, not the side. You need to do this in order to hit a difficult portal spot at the end. Since this video ended up being so short, I decided to include this weird clip as, like, a bonus thing, or whatever. So, for some reason, when I shot a portal at this door, it made this weird glowy ball of energy, and I, I have absolutely no idea how or why this happens, and I haven't been able to replicate it since I captured it on recording. This is, by far, the weirdest thing I have ever seen in Portal. Anyway, thanks for watching, and this is Lakito64, signing off.